Welcome back to the Collector Chronicles YouTube channel. Today I'm coming at you with some more mail order mysteries. One mystery in particular, and that is found within this old 1970s magazine. I have a number of these. Uh, they're called the Classic Collector. Um, they were kind of like an overview of, of what was hot in the collecting world or introducing people to the idea of collecting back in the 70s. Um, if you go back in time, uh, collecting was not that serious for a lot of people of a thing to do. Um, a lot of the stuff was just kind of thought of as junk and people thought more of things having a utilitarian value. So over time, collecting got to be more and more serious. So uh, from today's standpoint, something like a, a Thompson submachine gun is is extremely collectible and extremely expensive. Um, so, I mean, that'd be kind of a no-brainer, but, uh, so the magazine, it kind of goes over, um, it's got ads. Uh, yeah, Navy Arms, some companies I think are still in business. The, uh, um, reproduction black powder stuff. There you can get the, uh, uh, German, uh, Third Reich propaganda movie, Triumph for the Will. Uh, oh, it's a soundtrack on vinyl. I mean, who, who doesn't want that, right? Uh, Japanese military, uh, shaving mugs. A lot of stuff that's pretty highlight. There, get your uh, get your Gestapo ID disc. Uh, German military stuff, World War II, Nazi stuff has always been popular and collectible. Uh, they, the first people that collected it were the U.S. soldiers that fought the Nazis. They the uh, here we go collecting machine guns that's a pretty unrealistic thing for people to collect these days with laws and with just how expensive they are um like a gatling gun who can afford a gatling gun that's like as much as a house um even an actual thompson is uh yeah mp a german machine pistol 40 mp44 Extremely popular with gun collectors. Yeah, they're like 30 grand now. Okay, so before I get carried away on that, here's what we're looking at. Uh, Colt 45, 22 caliber pellet firing. A dollar? Are you kidding me? A dollar? Colt 45, let me, okay. Colt 45, 22 caliber pellet firing stinger automatic. 50, 22 caliber pellets free. Looks and feels like a real Colt 45. Automatic fully. Automatic fully six inches long, four inches high. Fires 22 caliber pellets as fast as you can pull the trigger. Great for fast action, combat type target practice. Free supply of targets and 50 reusable 22 caliber pellets. Money back if not satisfied. Just send a dollar plus 35 cents for post and handling. Not sold in New York City. Honor House. Hmm. Honor House sounds kind of familiar. Like maybe I see them in comic books selling stuff. I don't know if that makes them dubious or not, but all right, well, we'll send off for this thing. So, I mean, okay, 22 caliber. I know that 22 caliber is a cartridge size, like a 22 caliber bullet. Uh, so is it a BB gun? Is it a, is it like a, like a real gun, but it just shoots, only one way to find out. So I didn't order it because I don't think I was born when this magazine came out, but I do have one. Where's it at? There we go. All right, somebody took the plunge. Back in 1972, uh, Lynbrook, U.S. Postage, September 25th, Lynbrook, New York. Uh, 35 cents. Okay. And it went to it went to California from one side of the country to the other. Ah, an honor house product, third class mail. I wish I still had third class mail now. It's expensive to ship anything. So here's the box. Well, maybe this is just the magazine. Maybe this is just the pellets. I don't think it's actually in here. I mean, it. Well, we'll see. Oh wow. Yeah. There it is. Looks and feels just like a real forty-five. I mean, I mean, it. it I found it. It feels just like one. 
if I wouldn't have known any different, man. Well, here it is. Colt Automatic Tiger TMG 70. I think 70, a lot of times you see a number like that. I think that was the year they came out with the design. It looks like some kind of, like a drug lord, like a cartel member's grips or whatever. Or, or maybe, well, that's kind of a Chinese motive. You got a dragon there. Uh, Colt Automatic Tiger TMG 70, made in Japan. Well, doesn't have the uh, the orange on there because it was before those laws were passed. There's where you put the pellets. And I haven't opened up the pellet, the package of these. This is a, what they shot. These were popular um, for these pellet guns back then, or even like pea shooters. I had some of these when I was little, and I shot, I only had a couple of them, and I shot them into the bathtub in the bathroom, and they, they shattered. They were like clay, like silver painted clay. I don't know if all of them are that, but that's what the one is that I encountered. So a lot of these, you got to let the, uh, if you're, if you grew up in the 80s, you might remember those uh, Rayline Zebra guns that shot the yellow rubber pellets it's kind of the same type of deal as that there's like a ramp and you filled this all up and they like yeah they got to roll back into that ramp area for you to so we'll go ahead and shoot it here at the window yeah, still works uh i don't like shooting these a lot because sometimes they break you don't know on the inside if they had a, like a critical component made out of like a rubber band or something like that, that years later, you just pull the trigger a few times and it quits working. And since you can't really take it apart with screws, if it breaks, you're, you're unless you want to perform surgery on it, cutting open the glued seams, then you're pretty much just stuck with a uh, with a broke gun just because you're curious to play with it. So I don't like shooting those a lot. So what else we got here? Silver pellet. Some kind of logo. Uh, ST. That you got like that was like a safety toy Japanese. Pellet. Got a cowboy. Pellets for automatic gun. There it is right there. Colt 45 automatic. Tiger TMG 70. I can't read what it says right there because of the tape. Size millimeter seven. Tiger Shem, toy maker. Tiger made a lot of these guns. Uh, that's their logo with like a tiger lunging at you. Harmless. So you also got, and there might have been some kind of you know paper. It might have been wrapped in like uh, some kind of brown paper, protected, or they might have just thrown it in there in the box. This is everything that came with it. Um, here's a target. Silver pellets, 10, like kind of like a dartboard. There's uh, different areas you can aim for for more points. Tiger Chem Industries Company Limited. It's got these uh, areas right here that maybe you could hook something onto, like other little targets. I haven't figured that out. I think there was something. Okay, yeah, see. Maybe you put the box on there, the pellet box, who knows. Tiger Automatic. <laughs> they got it reversed. They always had these errors on these Japanese, uh, pretty cool illustrations here, what do we got? Oh, pellets. Okay, yeah, you're supposed to put the box on top, like maybe you can knock it off with the pellets. These won't, these won't go through cardboard, I assure you that. Maybe like tissue paper. So you got some shit. Okay, so we got, like I said, they mix the gunfighter with the spy and cop thing. So there, there's a, there's a bad guy or gangster. There's another guy there, cowboy taking the, taking the fall. You got like a G man or somebody. Some other people getting shot. Make, they're making no mistake that you know there's a theme of shooting people with this. So. Uh, but that was what was popular back then. All the uh, all the cowboy shows and gangster shows and everything, spy shows, standing target. So, yeah, that's in pretty good shape. Um, as far as what, as far as the box, so I have another one. This one, a lot of these mail order things you couldn't get in stores. 
but sometimes they were in store. So here's another one with a blister pack. This would have been maybe in a grocery store or, you know, when I was little in the 80s, there was still old toys like this in like hardware stores and old like mom and pop grocery stores. They had them collecting dust since the 70s. Um, so this one, you can read that better. So it says Colt 45 Automatic Guaranteed Products Acute. A-C-U-T-E. Acute Action. And in romantic style. Acute Action. Not cute. Acute Action in romantic style. We'll go with that. So anyway, uh, Tiger, like I said, they made a lot of stuff. I actually collect these mail order guns. Uh, it's kind of a challenge because they only come up for sale every once in a while. And uh, I remember in the 80s in magazine seeing this ad right here. And if you're, uh, if you grew up in the 80s or you were an adult in the 80s, you remember this ad if you were into guns and stuff. This ad was even in like Weekly World News and I mean this ad was in a lot of magazines. And the prices went up maybe a dollar every 10 years. I have all these. Uh, I have, I've had all these. I think I'm still missing, I'm still missing one that's not on here. So I, these don't really come up for sale that often. And uh, I think people would order them. And then when they saw that it wasn't like a metal pellet gun, they just like threw it away or maybe gave it to their nephew or their son or somebody and then it ended up getting broken. So this is what this is. Um, I have never seen this ad for this one in particular until I got this magazine. And it's only in one issue of the magazine. Um, they made other ones. Here, here's the whole display box. This is another style. Tiger. So I think this would have probably been like 60s. Pioneer 7. This one actually it shoots from down there. They would have probably evolved over the years. Because some of these right here. These are actually pretty nicely made. They're kind of like an early version of, of airsoft guns. So I would say that's about it. Um, now the mystery has been solved. Uh, the magazine. <laughs> Bayonets of Adolf Hitler's thousand years. So they... Like, half the articles are about Third Reich stuff. There's a German paratrooper, uh, Falkenjäger knife. I used to have one of those when I was a teenager. Now they're worth a whole lot of money. Um, Mills. Like, with a wheel. Um, like, tin decorative, like, uh, turn of the century tin cans. Of course, there's wanted people wanting to buy military stuff. Uh, this one, I, this one right here is the last thing I'll wrap it up here. Dare to be different. You may own that new sports car and you may have the latest in four channel sound systems. And yes, you may even own that twin engine plane. Uh, no, uh, but look around you. Lots of people do really. So how different can you be? Uh, if you're looking for something really unique, something that will set you apart from the crowd, we've got the answer. U.S. Mint coin die. That's right. The things they make your money with. It's something everyone everyone will want to, want to own but can't. You see, there are only 4,500 available in the entire world. Have you checked the latest figures on how many people own 4-channel? They really like these 4-channel sound systems. <laughs> uh, these coin guys, guys are perfectly legal to own. Uh, because the mint authorities have defaced them so that they may no longer be used for coin production. When the supply is exhausted, there'll be no more because the mint authorities have spent about $50,000 on equipment to melt all future dyes. Thus, no more can ever be made available to the public. Not, not next year, not ever. Think of the value of one 10 years from now. You may purchase you know, $24. Well, it's not that bad, but back then, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll stick with the, uh, with the twin engine plane. So, yeah, some weird stuff back then. But it was the 70s, so... All right, I think that's it all. I got more mail order mysteries in the future. So thanks for watching and have a good day.